Hello YouTube, Tim here, back with an update on the Green Arrow bow. Again, this is just one of the many styles of bows that the Green Arrow's had, but it's meant to be basically pyramidal limbs in a recurve design. Basically, what I've done is I created the limbs, I then, let me see if I can pull one of these off. Oh, without breaking stuff would be good. Well, it's on there pretty well. That's a good sign, I guess. Okay, cool. There we go. I took one and a half inch PVC. This is really heavy duty PVC. And then I marked one inch on one side, saw it all the way down to the ends. I'm gonna need to clean up the, the cut areas a lot more. I wish I had some more power tools which would make that easier, but for now it's just gonna be me a file and a whole bunch of time, but that's okay. I left it nice and complete near the end so you still have it stable and I, my intention was to do the same up near the tip, meaning I would only be removing material along the middle section. And then I was going to heat and fold in the tip, uh, fold them in on themselves before I pinched it shut. You know, if you understand it to be round, make the cuts up, to, up until that point and then cause it to buckle and so from, viewed from the side it would be bent inward like that on both edges, sandwiching the outer areas in between the front and back. It, it might have worked if I had done it a little differently, but it just turned out this was easier. I just spread glue for the first six or eight inches and did it like this. As you can see what it bent, well, there it is, some of the glue coming out. I need to do something else to hold it. And again, this is assuming that this is going to be used as a bow, and it's not really. It's going to be strung, hopefully, and then just left like it is. You see how it wants to wedge itself open? If I push enough here, it's going to pop right here at the tip. So I need something, a band here, a band there, just to hold them together, and that'll work just fine. But basically that's it. I mean, it'll work, it looks right, and it'll be fine for the purpose of just being a costume bow. But each of these sli slips on to the core, which was a one inch piece of PVC. That's pretty uh, hard to get on there. Like I said, it was pretty darn tight. Even though it's, it's loose enough to wiggle around, it's still too tight just to easily slip on. I'm eventually going to glue all of this stuff together, epoxy it together and whatnot. Fill in the sides, fill in the sides, smooth it all down and uh, yeah, cut knocks. It'll be a fine prop bow. So that's where I am and what I've been up to. I really like it. I will show you the completed bow, but don't expect to see that for a little while. Hello YouTube, Thanks for Tim watching. here, and this is the as yet incomplete Green Arrow bow. As you can see, one and a half inch wide pipe, which I then tapered all the way to the tips. A one inch pipe handle, which I then flattened, inserted, and thoroughly glued in there. The tips are glued for the final six inches on each side, but as you can see, this one's giving a little bit. I'll need to reinforce the sides with something to hold it on, to totally to be expected. Within a normal range of motion, that's not going to be too much of an issue, I think. But still, it's really not meant to shoot. It's meant to look like a recurved bow, particularly one of the style that the Green Arrow DC Comics superhero used. I'm not the uh, the biggest fan of this kind of bow and this kind of work in general, since I like to make productive working bows, still, this is what I was asked to do, to make a pyramidal limb and something that'll look good for cosplay, and that can be done. So a little bit more work, a little bit more is to do, but not all that much really. We're really coming close to, to getting everything finished. There are probably other more elegant ways that this can be done. For example, you might just cut this limb off right here, say, somewhere in the transition, and switch to a three-quarter inch pipe. That probably wouldn't be the, the end of the world, especially if you then chose to uh, set up the ends with epoxy, instamorph, some other material just to plug it up and bind it all together, make it look a little smoother in the transition. That would probably work, and it might make a more functional bow. You might even be able to use, say, a half-inch pipe all the way through the handle and simply use this as a sleeve, that probably would be a good way to make a bow that looked good and functioned. But, again, 
This is really just a first effort. I've never done anything even remotely like this before. So it does look roughly right. Let me see if I can move a little bit farther away so you can see the whole thing all at once. There it is. Needs knocks, needs sealing, a little bit of reinforcement at the tips. I'm going to wrap them and uh, probably epoxy up the sides. And that'll be that. So thanks for watching YouTube.